so my name is Jiayin. I'm currently from Emory University, affiliated with Department of Computer Science and Department of Nursing. So sorry, I apologize for not making the presentation in person because of my visa issue. And it's also now 4 a.m. at uh, Atlanta, USA. So I'm not 100% status. So forgive me of any uh, typos here. So without further ado, I'm going to start my presentation. Uh, the title of this work is called Uncertainty Aware Pre-trained Foundation Models for Patient Risk Prediction via Gaussian Process. So in, in this project, we are aiming to uh, doing one of the fundamental uh, clinical application, which is called patient risk prediction. So in my mind, patient risk prediction is a task to estimate the probability of a patient experiencing a health outcome using the patient risk data. Uh, uh, we aim to develop both accurate and reliable patient risk prediction models so that the models can help a care provider to proactively identify and address potential health risks. So the first challenge we face here is the heterogeneous multimodal patient data and the prediction targets. So from the data size, uh, data side, uh, the patient data is multimodal and very complex. For instance, we can have clinical clinical nodes, which is text, PPG, signal, which is waveform, uh, so on and so forth. And on the other hand, the prediction targets is also very uh, diverse. So uh, spanning from the general health event prediction, such as in, pre in hospital mortality prediction or length of stay prediction, or some kinds of disease predictions such as atrial fibrillation and ARDS detection. So traditionally, research have to design ad hoc prediction models for each of the modality and each of the prediction targets. So these prediction models are uh, also need to be data efficient so, so that it can handle the scarce supervision signal caused by the heterogeneity. So our uh, proposed approach in responding to the first challenge is the pre-trained foundation model. So uh, as you can see, uh, pre-trained foundation models uh, have shown impressive pro performance and generalizability in different predicted tasks. Uh, and it typically, uh, foundation model is based on the powerful transformer architecture in, uh, from the uh, deep learning community. And we are essentially following the same style and same uh, a training and inference paradigm. So uh, the pre-trained foundation model will be first pre-training a general data under a self-supervised uh, unsupervision uh, unsuper manner, and then fine-tune with a relatively small uh, do domain-specific knowledge, and then we can conduct in the inference on, over the downstream path. So uh, by utilizing this powerful tool, uh, we get rid of the like the data eager uh, uh, issue which is typically required by traditional machine learning model, deep learning models. So that's our solution in response to challenge number one. And the challenge number two, uh, in my mind, is lacking the ability of uh, to acknowledge predictive uncertainty. So although achieving very impressive performance, a notable limitation of the pre-trained foundation model is uh, their deterministic prediction. So in other words, classic uh, foundation models uh, typically utilizing the uh, fully connect layer as the final prediction layer when we target the classification problem. So uh, the, the prediction outcome from this kind of framework is uh, deterministic. Uh, for instance, uh, uti uh, utilizing a toy example to further describe it, is it if we predicting a patient has 90% probability to be positive to have a diabetes, it does it does not necessarily mean that mo uh, this model is ninety percent confidence that the prediction result is correct. So, uh, we we want to uh, providing a more reliable uh, model here, uh, which uh, they can provide uh, uncertainty estimation. So this uncertainty estimation can provide a a qu qualifier that allows care providers to gauge the reliability of the prediction so that. Uh, they can make more uh, conscious uh, treatment decisions. So uh, at the bottom, I show uh, some equations, but it basically means the fully con connected layer is uh, generating a deterministic result based on the uh, represented embedding from the pre trained foundation model. So uh, our solution here, 
is uh, we are utilizing a, prism, a principle and traditional uh, a model called Gaussian process uh, to replace the fully connected layer. So the, the, the advantage of Gaussian process is the prediction results is no, no longer deterministic. Instead, they are uh, they can present in the stochastic predictions, which essentially uh, reflect the uncertainty of the prediction results. So as you can see in the equation here, we show this is still pre uh, representing the logic of a classification uh, prediction results. And it, it is actually follows the prior def uh, defining, uh, defining by the Gaussian process. Uh, so the core technique uh, component is uh, we replace the de deterministic fully connected layer with the uncertain aware GP layer. So for 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 uh, due to the time issue, I, I didn't uh, provide more technical detail, but you can feel free to check out the uh, like the the the, bar, uh, the proof and the technical detail in my paper. So in summary, our Gaussian process based foundation model is capable of generating non deterministic prediction. Uh, that ref reflects the uncertainty of predicted results. So carrier providers uh, can make further intervention for uh, to a high uncertainty prediction for more reliable verification. And we, we conduct our pilot experiment results on two of the uh, uh, clinical risk prediction tasks. At the, the, left, the left hand, we are testing them on a textual-based patient risk prediction. And the right hand, we are testing on a visual-based uh, patient risk prediction. And we test on four of the popular foundation models, which are clinical BERT, BioGPT. These two are for the textual uh, prediction task. And VIT, visual, in, visual transformer, and SWING V2. These two are uh, visual-based uh, transformer. And we test on, uh, so all these tasks are uh, Focusing on classification setting, NL and Briar and accuracy are the three uh, metrics we report. So for NLL and Briar, they are the less the better, and for accuracy, it is the more the better. And uh, we essentially test one of the fundamental uh, uncertainty predict uh, uncertainty quantification framework is called Mon Monte Carlo dropouts and GPC stands for Gaussian process classification, which is our own proposed model, and fully connect layer, which cannot provide any uh, uncertainty quantification. So as you can see, our model can achieve competitive performance in all these uh, uh, tasks across, across in three metrics. And uh, the most important and most interesting experiment results probably to be this uncertainty analysis. So, uh, for both Monte Carlo dropout and our own uh, Gaussian process classification, we can de uh, determine whether, for instance, level uh, patient data, whether the prediction itself is certain or uncertain. This is achieved by conducting a paired t-test. Uh, and the paired t-test is conducting based on the most uh, larger and second larger logics of the output, uh, out output results. So when when we do a pair t test, then the the hypo the non hypothesis is uh, these two logics are essentially following the same distribution, which means it is uh, uncertain. And uh, otherwise, if we reject the non hypothesis, it means it is certain. So using these uh, pair t test, we can determine uh, for a data set uh, how much percent of them are uncertain and how much of them are not uncertain. And as you can see, clearly see, there is a clear gap between the accuracy of the uncertain prediction and certain prediction. So for for certain prediction, we do expect the accuracy to be larger. And for the uncertain uh, prediction, we do expect it to be not accurate, which means our uncertain quantification works here. So this is the most important uh, experiments we observe from our framework, all right? So uh, here comes our final conclusion of this paper. So uh, essentially, we are uh, providing a flexible Gaussian model. Sorry? Are you saying something? No, oh, carry on, carry on. OK. So uh, our Gaussian process can provide a competitive 
prediction uh, performance uh, uh, was the traditional flickering layer. And it can also provide valuable instance level uncertainty communication results. So in the future, we want to explore more scalable GP technique because here we are still using the exact GP. We want to explore maybe a nearest a neighbor based GP because GP is a non-parametric model. It can be very expensive. So, and we also to want to expand experiments to EHR, PPG and omics, which are uh, more diverse data modalities. And here is a uh, thank you to my uh, collaborators and uh, feel free to uh, reach out to any question or any question I can answer right now. Thank you.